Hello, I am Dr. Daniel Himmelstein, and that was my first ride with my new Lumos Ultra helmet. I've owned three generations of this helmet now, and I want to share with you why this is one of the most innovative products in cycling. And oh, hello. Again, I am Dr. Daniel Himmelstein. And this is the bike I was riding on the streets of Philadelphia while I urban commuted when I got my first Lumos helmet, the Kickstart. Let's light it up. This is Dr. Trang Lei, my wife, also known as Loveroo, showing off the Lumos Matrix. Let me introduce you to the three models here. First, which I picked up in 2018, is the original Lumos Kickstart. In the middle, we have the Lumos Matrix, which premiered in 2019. And then the just premiered 2021 Lumos Ultra on the right. All three models shown have MIPS, which stands for Multi-Directional impact protection system. And what that is, is a liner on the inside that can rotate independently. So on this helmet, the yellow part, and that can help dramatically when you have a crash with directional impact. Uh, so the studies have shown this adds quite a bit to the safety. They do make models without MIPS, although I would not recommend them. I think everyone and everyone's brain deserves MIPS or a similar uh, rotational impact technology. So the prices I will give you are for the model with MIPS. For the Kickstart, the uh, MSRP is 220. For the Matrix, it's 280. And for the Ultra, it's 130. So right off the bat, notice that the Ultra is quite a bit more reasonably priced. Weight matters a lot, especially when it's on your head. And that's why I've taken the time to measure the weights with my scale. The Kickstart weighs in at 14.3 ounces or 404 grams. The Matrix weighs in at 22 ounces or 624 grams. And the Ultra weighs in at 14.7 ounces or 417 grams. Oh, and don't forget about that promotional visor that was sent with the Ultra pre-order. That weighs in at 20 grams. Note that the Matrix is quite a bit heavier, which is my main complaint of the item. There are two models that exist that I don't have. The first one is the Kickstart Lite, which is similar to the Kickstart, except it doesn't have the turn signals. So it doesn't have these side lights and the front lights, it has fewer. Unfortunately, that one doesn't come in MIPS. If it did, that might be the best helmet because frankly, I don't use the turn signals much and I would rather uh, save weight. Now, there also is a uh, street version of the Matrix, which has less fancy of a panel in the back. It just has three bars and can't do any of the uh, sort of custom light shows. Regarding operation, the kickstart turns on by just holding the button in the back. And you can cycle modes by pressing the button another time. The matrix here you have to hold this button on the side which is quite hard to actually access now it did show you the battery meter at 67 percent there my biggest complaint is it can be hard to operate the power switch when your hands are cold or it's winter time if you have gloves on and then finally the ultra is similar to the kickstart in just a button there to turn it on and cycle through the levels. Now for charging. Both the Kickstart and the Matrix 
use this custom sort of proprietary charger, which is USB-A on one end and a magnetic directional charger on the other. To demonstrate, it will plug in like that or for the matrix like that, actually this way. Now the big benefit here of the Ultra is that it uses a standard USB-C charger and comes with this USB-A to USB-C cord. And for that, you open up the back and plug it in. The beauty here is this will be the same cord that your phone or your computer or any other device in the future will take. So not having a custom charger is a major advantage. One thing I don't love is that this doesn't feel very secure. It seems like it could flip up and there could be water ingress. Here are the turn signal controllers. Now I can't demonstrate them because I don't have them set up, but just note that the original and matrix come with this and the ultra comes with this one. Now, this is rechargeable with that magnetic custom charger. This one is not rechargeable. This one has the extra capability of having a motion sensor such that it can activate a stop mode when you're decelerating. Now, I don't actually use the turn signals because I haven't found them very useful and still usually just resort to hand signals. Uh, to indicate which way I'm turning, especially since I'm not sure all drivers would understand what the signal means. Now, the lights are very effective at getting the driver's attention. I could see these being useful if you felt like signaling on a bicycle is very useful, or say you were leading some sort of group ride where you wanted to be able to signal without using your hands. You can get this one and use it with the Ultra if you would like but that's an upgrade. These helmets are revolutionary for urban cycling. The reason being, instead of having to remember three things to cycle safely, that being your helmet, a headlight, and a taillight, you now only have to remember one. Furthermore, you only have to bring in one off the street and recharge a single item. So that is very helpful in situations where leaving your lights or helmet with the bike could lead to it being stolen. For example, in Philadelphia. Now, I do sometimes like to leave my helmet outside with the bike. Say, for example, if I'm just running into somewhere. And this is uh, a place where the original kickstart really shines because a U-lock fits very easily through the hole. Now, yes, you could lock it like that or like that, but my worry here is that someone could still steal it because it wouldn't be too hard to say, uh, sew that strap back together. The Matrix performs worse in this regard. It is very hard, if not impossible, to get my U-lock through. And then the new Ultra is not ideal, although you can fish it through. I would be slightly concerned with how tight this is and how close to the light that steel bar is going. Here I'd like to demonstrate the fit. Now note that all of them have this adjustment for different head sizes, which works quite well. The Original Kickstart has a fantastic head feel. It doesn't feel too top heavy, it's nice and breathable, and it's secure. The Matrix feels heavy and like it has a very high center of mass, which makes my head feel like it's wobbling and almost feels like it can just pop right off the top. So I, I really do not like how this one fits. And you noticed in those weight measurements that it's quite a bit heavier, probably largely because it doesn't have, 
or has very few holes, so it's not great at breathability, and it has this fancy panel back here. So I really only would recommend it if, say, you know, you needed to be riding around and broadcasting messages on your helmet. The Ultra has a nice fit, quite similar to the original, and I would say it's satisfactory and good and seems breathable so far. A bit on the interior design, all three of them come with removable pads such that you could take them off and wash them. The Matrix came with two different thicknesses of pads. On the top here, we're using the thinner pad and on here we're using the thicker pad. Um, that seemed like the best way to help improve the lackluster fit of that model, which also was sold at Apple stores. Now the visor here on the Ultra, I don't know if you'll be able to get one of these, but if you can, it goes right on like that. Obviously take off the existing pad in that location first. And now it's nighttime. Take a look at these helmets from the rear as a vehicle would see you. Now let's talk about headlight strength. I have the Lumos Ultra over here running on boost mode, which was available after putting a special code in the app, which adds a bit of brightness, but as you can see here, not a ton. Uh, so the question is, could you use one of these headlights as your standalone uh, headlight for night riding? If, and the answer to that is not really. While they make you visible, they don't do a great job of illuminating a road or trail. Now, in a bind, they'll get you uh, home if you go slowly, but they're not really comparable to a dedicated headlight or even a headlamp. So here I will show you my Nightcore NU25 uh, hiking and all-purpose headlight. This is the low mode, which is one lumens. Here's medium at 38 lumens and high at 190 lumens. Now let's put it into turbo at 360. For my bicycle headlight, here's an Olight RN 1500. The low mode here is 300. The medium is 700 and the high is 1500 lumens. So as you can see, this is providing a lot more light. I hope I don't burn a hole in your screen. Okay, now is the verdict, the time when I say which one you should buy and why. First, should you buy the Lumos Matrix. No, it's too heavy. The fit is too awkward. Should I buy the Kickstart? You can't go wrong with the Kickstart. It's a great helmet, except that it uses the proprietary charger and costs more than the Ultra. So I would say if all are in stock, I would get the Ultra. Now, you won't be able to get this beautiful color design because I believe that was only available for the pre-order uh, crowdfunders like myself. Now, with that said, go out, cycle, have some adventures, and what I say, you might start your ride in the day thinking you'll get back by the afternoon, but you may not get back till way past dark. So that's why you need lights on your head, in your helmet, where the cars will see you.